we are speaking about priorities for life. In other words, the few absolutely vital things that will make for you and me to experience real life in this world. Welcome to every viewer. I trust that this message will touch your heart. I want to focus on something very specific in these few minutes, and it's this. One of those life priorities I've learned in my life, and I've paid a cost for it, is never to be caught in the past. Never live backwards. So I want to entitle this short message, Live Leaning Forward. You see, I found that I can make no changes, no difference in what happened yesterday. I can't change it. It's happened. It's water underneath the bridge. There's two things required of us to live a life leaning forward. Firstly, we need to live fully in the present because how I live today, how I think today, how I act today paves the way for what I will experience tomorrow. And actually where I want to be is in a better tomorrow. And I believe all of my heart that the scripture I'm reading to you in a few moments time gives us a clear guideline how to live leaning forward and not live backwards. Somebody once said you cannot drive your motor car while you look constantly or permanently in the rear view mirror. You will head for a disaster. You will experience a bad accident if you try to do that. We learn from the past, but we do not live in the past. We live in the present and we reach for the future. And God makes that possible. One of the things I've learned before I read this precious scripture to you is just this. The one thing that makes all the difference for you and me not to be sucked down into that, into that abyss of the regrets of yesterday and what happened 10 years ago and 100 years ago and 5 hours ago is the forgiveness that Jesus Christ made available through his sacrifice on the cross. Oh, what an incredible thing to live in his forgiveness. So listen to the words of the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 3. I want to read a few verses starting verse 12. It says this, Paul says, not that I have already attained or am already perfected. So Paul says, hey, this is not a perfect man speaking to you. It's a man that's on the way. I'm not there yet. I'm not perfect. But he says these words, I press on. He was leaning forward in life. And Paul had made mistakes, bad mistakes. So it comes from a man that has gone through the regrets of the past where things didn't work out, or where he failed, or others failed him. But he goes on to say, that I may lay hold of that, for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. So I want to say to you, you've got something to lean towards. You've got something to live for tomorrow and today. Find the that of God. Paul says, that I may lay hold of that. And I want to ask you today the question, what is God's that for you? Maybe it's not a massive thing, whatever it is. Maybe it's a, a daily mission. Maybe it's a big thing. I don't know. But find the that. Find God's purpose for your life. Your calling is what gives you a future to live for in God. He says that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me. So God has saved you for a purpose. He goes on to say in verse 13, brethren, and I include the sisters in that. I do not count myself to have apprehended. I'm not there yet. But he says, yes, his priority. But one thing, just note that, one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward. There's the leaning forward which, uh, to those things which are ahead. God has got a lovely, wonderful, powerful plan for your life. But please become part of an exclusive group that has chosen to embrace divine amnesia. You say, what? Well, Paul says, I choose to forget. People and a lot of things will try to remind you all the time to look back. Don't try to go forward looking in your back, in your rear view mirror. 
Isaiah 43 verse 18 says exactly the same. God says, remember not. Don't let anything keep on reminding you of that for which you've asked and received forgiveness. And God has said, it's over now. Now, move on. Find what I've got for you today and tomorrow. Paul says, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forward to the things which are ahead in God. I pray today, Jesus, give every person strength to draw a line today and say, I step over the line today that separates me from my past. And I embrace what God has got for me today in order that I will live tomorrow with Him in His power. In Jesus' name, Amen.